In this video, I'm going to show you how I get rid of unwanted vines, trees, and shrubs. You know, those nasty things that are really invasive and they're spreading all over the place. Now, I don't use this method if I have one plant that I want to get rid of. I just dig that out. But I'm talking about things like blackberries, where you have a whole field of them and you're trying to get rid of them and they root all over the place. Or European buckthorn. I also have a problem with walnuts. I have three or four mature trees on my property and the squirrels bury those nuts all over the property and then every spring I've got all these plants coming up and I don't really notice them until they're about this tall and they're too big to dig out. It's a much easier way to get rid of them. Now you could go and spray all these plants with something like Roundup or a bush killer. But that takes a lot of chemicals. And for things like European buckthorn, it doesn't actually even work that well. Spraying the leaves won't kill those plants. There's a much better way that uses very small amounts of chemical. And it's very targeted. So I can get rid of one plant that's growing in amongst other plants that I want to keep. And I only kill that one plant. You can't do that with spraying. So this is my favorite way to get rid of those unwanted plants. This is what you'll need. You'll need to get yourself some concentrated Roundup. Don't get the stuff in the spray bottle. That's too dilute. You want some good concentrate. Roundup comes in different levels of concentrate and you want about a 300 value. I have some farm quality Roundup and it's about 540 so I dilute it in half. It gives me about 250 and that works fine. You'll need some pruners or some loppers if the trees are larger. And you need a kitty pail. I know this looks kind of funny, but I've been using this for about 10 years and it works great. And you'll also need a brush. A dollar store paint brush will work. Again, this thing is 10 years old. I do about three, 400 European buckthorns every year. Still looks in perfect condition. If your concentrate has a value of about 300, just use it straight out of the container. Put a little bit into your pail and you're good to go. In my case, since my concentrate is a little stronger, I pour a little bit in and I pour the same amount of water in and mix it up and I use that mixture. And I only need a little bit, 30 to 50 mils in here. That does a lot of trees. You'll see I use almost nothing on every plant. Now let's go find some buckthorn that we can kill. I found myself some European buckthorn. There's one over here, another one here, one over here. So the way I do this is I take my pail, get my brush good and wet, and then I bang it against the side to get the excess off. You don't want this dripping wet, or as you're moving it around, you get it on all the other plants. And you don't want to damage the native plants here. I only want to get the buckthorn. Put the pail somewhere safe so you won't knock it over. I keep the brush in my left hand, the pruners in my right hand, and I can go and do a dozen or more plants this way before I have to recharge. So I come along to the plant, cut it off three or four inches above ground. It's not that critical. This one's a little big for pruners, but it works. Then take the brush, and just dab it on the cut. That's it. Then I go on to the next one. Once the brush feels like it's getting dry, and you'll be able to tell when you watch this because it changes color a little bit. Once this is dry and it no longer gets wet, come back to the pail, recharge it, take off the excess, do another dozen plants. So when is the best time to do this? Early spring is not the best time because plants at that point particularly the woody plants, they're moving nutrients up the tree. They're not taking too much down. When we paint this, we want the plant to suck the roundup into the roots. So it's better later in the summer or even fall works really well. With European buckthorn, you can do it quite late because once most of the leaves fall off here, the buckthorn is still green. And I can go through the forest and I can spot the buckthorn and go and take out those plants. All the other native plants have lost their leaves, so they're just bare stems, but the buckthorn is still green. Midsummer to late fall works for most plants. Once the leaves have dropped off the plant, 
then this isn't going to work anymore because the plant's no longer sucking things down into the roots. The other suggestion is to do this on a day when it's not going to rain. I like to have about 24 hours after I apply it without rain. That way it won't be washed off. I think it works fine even if it's a couple hours, but just to be on the safe side, I pick a day that's nice and sunny and I'm not expecting any rain. The other thing that is important here is that you can't go through the woods and cut a whole bunch of these and then come back an hour or two later and put the roundup up. That doesn't work. Now I've researched this and I've seen some papers that say as long as you do it within 20 minutes of making the cut, you're fine. So it's not a real rush job, but I like to do them at the same time. Even if I'm using a chainsaw or loppers so I can't hold the brush, I'll come and do two or three, four plants, put the chainsaw down, get the brush, dab those, pick the chainsaw up, do another few plants, and dab those. The second reason for not doing too many is that if you're doing it in a wooded area, you forget where the plants are that you cut. So I usually do maybe up to six plants and then dab them all. So I'm usually applying the Roundup within a few minutes of doing it. Now I really like this method Dabbing it requires very little chemical, so it's very efficient. I also don't damage any of the other native plants around here. The only plant that will be damaged by the Roundup is the one that I paint. Everything else is safe, so it's a very targeted way to get rid of those trees. This is a great method. I've used it on lots of different things. Black raspberries, wild red raspberries, and the reason I did those is those weren't any good for eating. These aren't good berries. These are really crappy berries. Uh, various kinds of trees. Our ash trees got demolished with the emerald ash borer, but before the trees died, they made a million seeds. So I have seedlings everywhere. Anything that's invasive and you have a lot of, and you don't want to dig them up, this method will work. Let's get rid of those invasive plants and get back to growing native trees and shrubs. See you next time.